I have a constituent on the flight who came to the UK aged 11. He has no friends or family in Jamaica, but he does have three children here who do not know that he's likely to be deported. Although he's desperate to see them one last time, he doesn't want them to worry. Now, has the government carried out any assessment of the impact this will have on his children who are likely to never see their father again? And, well, the balance between family rights and the uh, obligation on the government to remove dangerous offenders um, is laid out in statute, and it is up to the courts to determine, in each individual case, if a challenge is brought, um, how that balance is struck. Um, I would, and I've, again, I've got the case details in front of me. I don't want to um, recite them to the House for reasons of confidentiality, um, but the Honourable Lady's constituent is an extremely um, persistent and prolific offender, um, including some quite dangerous offences. But as I say, that balance between family rights and public safety is one set out in statute and struck by the courts. But I make no apology for putting public safety first.